So I started driving when I was eight, uh, just around my dad's shop. Um, by the time I went pro, I was 15 years old with my very first sponsor, um, competing in national events, and uh, really getting myself involved in the whole motorsports drifting crowd. The spirit behind Santa Racing is the fact that we want to stay trendy, new, exciting, you know, always catering to the youth market, but you know, obviously broadening that fan base. You know, we don't want to bring the same car scheme. We want to stay fresh and, and new and give fans something new to cheer on every year. G-Shock, for me as a kid, I've always been a fan and you know, it's always been a signature of tough, durable, um, you can put it through its paces with fire, rain, snow, dirt, and it'll still tell you the time. That's tough. Toughness to me means having the ability to perform consistently at your absolute best, no matter what you're called. Drifting's all about toughness. You know, you gotta have the right attitude, that tough attitude, tough mentality. The car's gotta be tough. You know, you gotta go out there and show your competition who's the man, and that's all about just having that tough attitude. Sometimes we have our good events where we place, um, other times we have our bad events. So there's a lot of ups and downs with um, terminal engine failure, mechanical issues, but what keeps us going is the fact that there's hope, um, there's light at the end of the tunnel, and anything can happen on the circuit, and everyone is in the same playing field. So, um, you know, we just gotta try our best, uh, make sure that we stay focused and uh, mentally prepared for anything. That also translates into life, you know, outside of drifting. You just gotta stay positive and tackle everything life throws at you. It's gonna be tough. Whenever I'm not racing, I like to go on jogs and runs. I typically do about a light three and a half mile run every, every single day or every morning. Um, otherwise, I'll you know stay driving, even if it's like a normal routine drive to the grocery store. I'll, I'll try to pay attention to the roads. Or I'll take a spirited drive in the canyons. Um, and that really helps me stay conditioned for you know, whatever life goes on. I find my strength whenever I watch my team working their asses off, getting the car prepared for me you know, every single round. Um, watching them work really hard makes me feel like I have a family, a tight-knit family that all shares one goal and that is obviously to win and do really good. And even if we don't win, I think we want to remember to go out with a bang and uh, you know, give a good show to the crowd. So that's what um, that's what I remember every single time I do a lap, and that's what keeps us strong. Well, last year I wasn't doing so well. We had no podiums. Uh, we barely made it past qualifying. Um, I really wanted to perform at my best, and I have a feeling a lot of things were there to help me do so, but they just didn't click. Now we have the proper resources. You know, the team's been working really hard to make sure the car is top-notch every single run. And um, just having that same common goal really helped me this year. Um, we have three podiums. We're sitting in second place going to the final round. Championship. Championship is all I want. I mean, we're very close this year, but not close enough. We had a few, we had a lot of, you know, great moments this year. We also had a lot of uh, downs. Um, just want that championship and that's next. <laughs>